In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer the Matt Smith's 2023 sample exam 1 question 5. We've got let the function f where f of x equals 2 minus x squared. Calculate the average rate of change of f between x equals minus 1 and x is equal to 1. To find the average rate of a function between an interval, we need to use this formula. And so this is going to equal f of 1 minus f of minus 1 over 1 minus minus 1, which is 1 plus 1. And so this is going to be f of 1 is equal to 2 minus 1 squared, which is 1, and then minus f of minus 1 is also going to be 2 minus 1, which is 1, and then divide by 2, which is equal to 0. Calculate the average value of f between x equals minus 1 and x is equal to 1. To find the average value of a function between a given interval, we need to use this formula. And so this is going to equal a half times the integral from minus 1 to 1 of f of x, which is 2 minus x squared, dx. Integrating this, this is going to become a half times 2x minus x cubed on 3 from minus 1 to 1. And now subbing the terminals, we're going to get 1 over 2 times 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 1 cubed on 3, which is 1 on 3. And then minus 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. And then minus minus 1 cubed on 3 is going to be plus 1 on 3. And so cleaning this up, this is going to be a half times 2 minus 1 on 3 plus 2 and then minus 1 on 3. And so this is going to become a half times 4 minus 2 on 3. We can write the 4 as 12 on 3. And so this is going to equal a half times 12 on 3 minus 2 on 3, which is 10 on 3. The 2 and the 10 will cancel out, and so this is going to equal 5 on 3. Four trapeziums of equal width are used to approximate the area between the functions f of x and the x-axis from x equals minus 1 to x equals 1. The heights of the left and right edges of each trapezium are the values of y equals f of x as shown in the graph below. Find the total area of the four trapeziums. To find the area of the shaded region, or the area of the four trapeziums, we need to use the trapezium rule, which is this. Where w is the width of each of the trapeziums, a and b are the endpoints of the region, and n is going to be the number of trapeziums we have. And so the width is going to be 1 minus minus 1, which is going to be 1 plus 1, and n is the number of trapeziums, and so this is going to be 4, and so the width is going to be 2 on 4, which is equal to 1 on 2. And so the width of each of these trapeziums is going to equal a half, which means then we're going to start from minus 1, and then we're going to go to minus a half, 0, a half, and then 1. This is going to be the x0 value, this is going to be x1, x2, x3, and this is going to be x4. From here, we just sub all these into the formula to work out the area. And so this is going to be the width divided by 2, which is a half divided by 2, and so this is going to be 1 on 4, multiplied by f of x0, which is going to be f of minus 1, and then plus 2 times f of minus a half, plus 2 times f of 0, plus 2 times f of a half, and then the last one is just going to be plus f of 1. And now working this out, this is going to be 1 on 4 times f of minus 1, which we worked out to be 1, and so this is going to be 1, plus 2 times f of minus a half, and so this is going to be 2 times 2 minus 1 on 4, and then plus 2 times f of 0. f of 0 is equal to 2, and so this is going to be plus 4, and then we've got plus 2 times f of a half, which is going to be 2 times 2 minus 1 on 4, and then plus f of 1, which we know is equal to 1. And so expanding this, we're going to get 1 on 4 times 1 plus 4 minus a half plus 4 plus 4 minus a half plus 1. And now cleaning this up, this is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 2, which is 14, and then minus 1, which is equal to 13. And so this is going to equal 13 over 4 square units. And that's it for this question. Now, if you guys want to learn and practice exam-style questions similar to this one, then join the Maths Methods Club, where you can group all the past Maths Methods exam questions by topic. Once you log in, you can choose from six main topics. For average rate questions, click on differentiation and then average rate. For average value, go to integration and then click on average value. And then to find the area under the graph, click on area under the graph. You can go to question type and select tick free and then click on filter. This is then going to instantly group all the past maths methods exam questions in the tick free exam where the questions are related to these three topics. Go through these questions. 
and see how you go. And if you get stuck, you can watch the video solutions. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.